Nice launch check and countdown net. Pad is clear. 10, 9, 8. Launch auto sequence has started. 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Go for launch. Stage separation confirmed. Dragon separation confirmed. Stage one is transonic. Landing legs have deployed. And Falcon 9 has landed. My name is Jesse Anderson, and I'm a production and engineering manager here at SpaceX, and I will be your host for SpaceX's 60th launch of 2022. While today is our final Starlink Express mission of the year, retry. it's the first of Starlink's upgraded network. Under our new license, we are now able to deploy satellites to new orbits that will add even more capacity to our network. Ultimately, this enables us to add more customers and provide faster service, particularly in areas that are currently oversubscribed. Now the teams are currently tracking no issues with the vehicles or spacecraft. Weather and range are both green for launch, and we are proceeding with a T0 of 4.34 a.m. Eastern Time. Now with liftoff just four minutes and about 15 seconds from now, we are standing by for transporter Erector retraction. And there you can see on your screen that the clamp arms just below the fairing are opening up. Once those are fully open, TE will begin to retract away from the vehicle. like the amp arms are now fully open and the transporter erector is now reclining away from the vehicle. We are also coming up on propellant loading completion. At the T minus three minute mark, we will have liquid oxygen loading including on the first stage and T minus two minutes, we will have second stages liquid oxygen loading. And with that call out at T minus three minutes, Falcon 9's first stage is fully loaded with RP1 and liquid oxygen. And we are now awaiting completion of liquid oxygen load on the second stage, just under a minute from now. We're just under 30 seconds away from liquid oxygen loading complete and on the second stage. Once that concludes, that will conclude propellant loading for Falcon 9. Stage two, lock flow complete. And there's that call out with stage two's liquid oxygen loading complete. Falcon 9 is now fully loaded with 1 million pounds of fuel and liquid oxygen. Now the booster that you see on your screen is flying for an 11th time today. It previously supported Nilesat 301, yes, Axiom 1, Inspiration 4, GPS 3 Space Vehicle 4 and 5, and five previous Starlink missions. Reusability allows SpaceX to refly the most expensive parts of the rocket, which in turn drives down cost of space access. Now, after liftoff and stage separation, the booster is scheduled to land on our drone ship, a shortfall of Gravitas, which is currently stationed in the Atlantic Ocean. 
And as you can see on your screen, the weather out there at the moment is a bit unfavorable, but we are optimistic for today's recovery. And we just heard that call out that stage one is, that Falcon 9 is in startup. LD, go for launch. And great news, final call from the launch director. We are go for Falcon 9 to carry our Starlink payload out into space. T minus 30 seconds. Falcon 9 carrying our Starlink payload out into space. Vehicle supersonic. Vehicle has throttled down in preparation for Max Q, which is coming up here in a few seconds. Max Q. Great news, we have passed through Max Q. That is the largest structural load that the vehicle sees during ascent. We are just about a minute away from a few events happening back to back. That is main engine cutoff. And back is chilling. Stage separation and second engine start one. Now Miko, our main engine cutoff is where we shut down all nine of those M1D engines that you see lit up on your screen right there. Now that helps slow the vehicle down in preparation for stage separation, where the first stage separates from the second stage. First stage will make its way back down to Earth, scheduled to land on a short fall of Gravitas today. While the second stage continues with the Starlink payload and igniting that second stage engine. We are coming up on those few events here in just a few seconds. Stage separation confirmed. And back ignition. Fairing separation confirmed. Now, as you may have just seen, we had Miko stage separation. MVAC engine igniting on the second stage as well as bearing deploy. Your left hand screen is a view from the first stage and you can see those grid fins deploying there. On your right hand screen, you are seeing a view from the second stage looking forward at our Starlink payload. Now both fairing halves that flew today are flight proven, which means that they have flown before, and we will attempt to recover the fairing halves again using our recovery vessel, Doug.
Today's mission marks SpaceX's 60th launch of the year. As a reminder, Starlink is a satellite internet constellation designed and manufactured Bermuda. Designed and manufactured by SpaceX to provide high-speed, low-latency internet to people living in remote and rural locations around both the globe. Both vehicles are following nominal trajectories. They are getting good callouts. Both vehicles following nominal trajectories. Just now joining the first stage is making its way back down to Earth, while our second stage is making its way to its targeted drop-off orbit for our Starlink payload, which you see there on your screen. Just under a couple minutes away from the entry burn on the first stage, first stage has a couple more burns. That is the entry burn and then followed by the landing burn. Entry burn is where three of the nine M1D engines will reignite and help to slow the vehicle down as it enters back into the Earth's atmosphere. While today is our final Starlink mission of the year, it's the first of Starlink's upgraded network. Under our new license, we are now able to deploy satellites to new orbits that will add even more capacity to our network. Ultimately, this enables us to add more customers and provide faster service, particularly in areas that are currently oversubscribed. We're just about 30 seconds away from the entry burn beginning on the first stage. Again, stage that is. Stage two FTS is saved. Again, that is three of nine M1E, M1D engines reigniting. And you should see that on your left hand screen while your right hand screen is a view from stage the second one, stage. Stage one FTS is saved. Stage one entry burn startup. And there, as you may have heard, as well as visually can see on your screen, three of nine M1D engines have reignited. This burn will last about 20 seconds long. Stage one entry burn shut down. And we have just had the entry burn shut down. Both vehicles continue to follow nominal trajectories. Next up, in about a minute from now, we will have the stage one landing burn beginning on the first stage. Now, while the first stage landing burn is on, we will, all, we will also have SECA one on the second stage just shortly after that, that landing burn begins. Landing burn lasts about 20 seconds, so we'll hear some call outs and wait for a confirmation of good orbit on this second stage. We'll hear... Stage one transonic. We'll hear some of those events happening back to back. Again, we are just about 30 seconds away from the landing burn beginning on the first stage. Stage two is on terminal guidance. Stage one landing burn. And there you can see on your left hand screen, stage one has lit one engine to prepare for landing on our drone ship, a short fall of Gravitas. Landing leg deploy. Stage one landing confirmed. And Falcon 9 has landed. This marks our 159th overall landing of an orbital class rocket, including both Falcon 9 and Falcon Heavy missions. Nominal orbit insertion. 
And also great news, we did have Seco one and heard a call out for confirmation of good orbital insertion. <laughs> And there you can see MVAC engine has shut down. So stage two is now carrying 54 Starlink satellites into low Earth orbit. Thank you so much for joining us today, and we will see you again next time.